Really think about it. How long have you lived in a rent in your rental? Two, three years? It adds up and it's not cheap. And when you look at $144,000, you have nothing to show for it when you rent. You don't have a house that you have an asset on. You have nothing to to save or give to say you have children. The rental that you're living in is not going to be everything you dreamed of and more at $4,000 a month. Let's be real, but it will probably like get you by and you're going to say, it's okay. I don't care if it's not everything I wanted to. It's a rental. So why don't you use that same mindset and do that for purchasing a property? You know, there's programs out there that I work with lenders all the time. They even have zero money down right now. They have 3% down. They have 20% down. It's whatever you feel comfortable with a month paying. And then you can put that money towards a principal of a mortgage. So then if you want to buy that dream home that you want in three years, instead of just settling for a rental, I would just settle for like a six, $700,000 property. And then you take that however much money, let's say $4,000 a month that you'd be paying. Let's say you got an interest in everything else. So let's divide that by two because your first time, but you'll get $72,000 out of that after three years, plus whatever other money you save or you get profit on the property. You know, you could have another $100,000. You could have $172,000 if the house increased in value by $100,000 in three years. And you'll have $172,000 to put down now on your dream home. $172,000 sounds a lot better than that you've invested into your real estate as opposed to paying out $144,000 with zero investment and zero to show for it. 